In this series of videos, we're going to talk about absorption versus variable costing. In the first video, I'm just going to kind of explain the concept. In the second video, we'll work through a short problem on absorption versus variable costing that I hope illustrates the concept to you. Uh, but let's talk a little bit absor about absorption versus variable costing. And of course, we can't talk about anything related to costing without defining cost. And we all know the components of cost are direct materials, DM, direct labor, DL, and manufacturing overhead, MOH. And we've probably written that, I've written that on slides uh, hundreds and hundreds of times, and hopefully it's a familiar concept to you by now, and hopefully you understand the definition of each of those terms. So we take the material, the labor, the overhead, we add them all together, and we get the cost of our product. Um, so, just to further define things, as usual, overhead is the thing that's going to cause us problems here, and it's the reason there's a difference between absorption and variable costing. Absorption costing says, add the material, add the labor, add the overhead, you get the cost. Variable costing says, add the variable material, add the variable labor, add the variable overhead, and you get the cost. Don't include any fixed cost. And now, the good news here is, Direct material, whether it's absorption or variable, direct material is the same because direct material is all variable. If you think about McDonald's making a hamburger, well, the meat and the bun, that's a total variable cost. Direct material is a variable cost. So it's the same under absorption and variable cost, and they treat it the same way. Direct labor in accounting class tends to always be a variable cost as well. Uh, again, it's the cost of the wages of the person that made the product. Uh, we make the assumption that, if look, if there's not the work to be done, we send them home. If there's more work to be done, we bring them back in. The wages will fluctuate with um, uh, production, so it's, it's a variable cost. Overhead, though, is very much, there's fixed overhead and there's variable overhead. So. When we think about overhead, those are the indirect costs of making a product, the indirect factory costs, things like the cost of utilities, the cost of um, property tax, the cost of indirect labor, that's idle time when the employees are sitting around or cleaning up, uh, the cost of cleaning supplies, all those costs that you have to have to run a factory, uh, but that are not directly part of the product, or are overhead costs. Some of those are variable, some are fixed. And so, Variable costing says, okay, well, take the variable ones, and that's the cost of your product. Fix, uh, absorption costing says, no, you need to take all of the costs to be included into your product cost. Now, why is this relevant? Like, why does this controversy exist? Not that it's controversial, but why is there this issue? Well, GAAP, the rules of accounting, say absorption costing is the only way to go. So... When we present financial statements to shareholders and we have sales and cost of goods sold, that's our cost, it's all under absorption costing. But as we've learned in the last few uh, video series, if you go back and watch one on CVP analysis, cost volume profit analysis, also called break even analysis, as well as there's been a series on like high low method and just cost behavior, scatter graph method. If you watch back to those previous videos, you'll see it is kind of relevant to know which costs are variable and which costs are fixed. We can compute our break-even point. We can do some projections with that. And if we use absorption costing data and cost of goods sold, we're not going to have good data with which to do CVP analysis. So variable costing says, well, I want to break out my variable costs. I want to break out my fixed costs. And it's just a little bit tricky to do because materials are variable, labor is variable. So when I'm looking at this cost, the only component that might be fixed often is overhead. So in this series of videos, we're going to learn how uh, these two methods are different, how they'll produce different profits, because again, they'll produce different cost of goods sold, and there'll be different amounts sitting in ending inventory, and uh, they just create differences. And so we'll learn how to deal with those differences, we'll learn how to compute them, and hopefully you leave this better understanding the concept. Again, the big difference here is when I'm going down my list, variable costing says direct materials, direct labor, and variable overhead. 
Absorption costing says do it all. Don't skip the fixed overhead. So again, variable costing says just look at the three variable materials, variable labor, and variable overhead. Absorption costing says don't skip anything that's fixed. So let's go ahead and work through a problem outlining this concept.